Hello, Sagittarius. Getting ready to do your reading. Let's see what's going on for you, Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Messages for Sagittarius. Overall energy is the Lovers, the Seven of Wands, and the Page of Wands. Okay, so it looks like some looks like some communication here that you don't want to hear. You don't want to talk to this person, or they don't want to talk to you. Someone's upset here. So whatever you're dealing with. All right, might be a Gemini or another fire sign, but someone just is like blocking the other person. Don't want, they don't want to hear it. You have the star card. They have the strength card. And they view you, though, as the nine of swords. All right. All right, page of coin, two of wands just thought. So it's kind of like things are stuck or stalled. Um, needing to make a decision about what path to take. Needing to know, is this long-term, the ten of coins? Okay. Feels like maybe you want commitment on your side, but they don't want to give it, and they see you as someone who's worrying. So they may be pushing you away. Maybe you're trying to reach out to this person with the Page of Wands. You want to know where this relationship is going. It's a very strong connection with the lover showing up here, but but it's like it's not moving with the Knight of Coins. On one hand, it's not moving forward, though it could. So you want to know where this is headed. What are this? What is the Star card? You have the High Priestess, the Three of Wands, and the Nine of Coins. So some of you know that you may just be single in the future or that you're just going to spend more time on your own and you're not going to worry about this connection for now, possibly. They have the Strength cards. They have the Six of Cups, the King of Coins, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, I don't know if this person is going back to an X with this because this is their energy. If you're dealing with a Leo or an Earth sign... I don't know if they have to go, they're going to go to re... Yeah, because look what... They have the Magician of the Seven Swords there. It almost looks like they may be visiting an ex or going back. I don't know, because it doesn't look like you're the ex at this point. Because it looks like you know in your intuition that you're not going to be seeing them for a little while. Whatever that means. A week, a month. Let me see. They view you as a Nine of Swords. So they see you as Nine of Cups. So they know you really like this person, that you're connected to this person. They think that you're spying on them. So this could be a Capricorn specifically, but again, Nine of Cups, the two of you have a strong connection. And with the, with the devil here, it's very passionate. Or they're viewing you as being kind of possessive. Again, this is how they view you, not that you are. But there's definitely passion between the two of you. But then... Unless you, let me see. What is the next action? What is the next action? Two of Wands needing to make a decision. What does this mean? So you have the Death card, the Five of Cups, and the Nine of Wands. So some of you, yeah, I see you cutting this person off. Ten of Swords is under here. But this is the thing, though. You have, like, you're listening to your intuition. You're hoping for the best, but it's kind of like you know that there's going to be a break in the communication or something, and you're just, you know, you're not like Ten of Swords here. You're not the Tower. You're just like, you know what? I'm going to spend time on my own. While this person does whatever. Um, the next action is, yeah, this is ending. Someone is sad. And but what's the outcome? So is this person acting like a player? Are they a flake? Page of coin, two of swords, four of cups. It almost feels like to me like they may be revisiting an ex. So I feel like there's something here going on and this person's acting fishy. Like, you know, there's something's up. They may not be cheating, but you know, it's like death, I mean, sorry. Strength is like they're trying to hold back. It's like they want to reconnect from, with somebody from their past to see if it's going to work one more time. And it's not you, it's somebody else. That's what I'm seeing here. And you're like, they know you're worried about this in a sense, or they know you like them is what I'm seeing here, but you may be the one to decide, you know, I'm going to cut this off. I'm not going to put up with this. If they're going to go, you know, communicate with someone else or go see how things, you know, I feel like this person's in and out. But what's crummy is that you guys have this card here. And I feel like this is the two of you. You guys have a very strong connection. I feel like it's both emotional and physical. But when you go to talk to them, they're pushing you away. Um, maybe they're blocking you even, but they're just not receptive. And all you want to know is where is this headed, okay? So it's like, where is this headed? Should I, you know, end this so I can spend time doing my thing? Or are we actually going to keep moving this forward? It looks like you're like, you know what? I'm just going to put this on pause. You're on the right path. You know something's wrong. Something's up. So it's like, okay, that's good. I'm going to spend time on my own.
you, you're probably disappointed. I would assume you're disappointed, but at the same time, I don't know if this is your energy or there's also kind of feels like they're a player, but all right, let's go to this deck. Let's go to this deck. What else do we need to know about this person for Sagittarius? What is this person doing? Are they coming back around? Because look at, I'm conf confusion and I'm sorry. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm causing all this confusion, Sagittarius, but I need to go explore my options or this other person or... Now, if this energy here is you, if you are considered the Six of Cups, the past person, there's passion for you, but yet they're holding back or they're not, they're not showing it. So I don't know if this is a game player. I don't know if this is someone who does not want commitment because that would be like the Eight of Swords. Do they not want to be in a committed relationship? Are they just going around, you know, offering their cup to different people? Because I could also see that happening here. Okay, so we have holding on, forgiveness, loyalty, Approach with caution and pay attention to the details and patience is needed. Okay, so this definitely is a past life connection. This is definitely soulmate, karmic. Um, I don't know if you, very strong connection. So obviously you need to go slow with this person like you're doing. Pay attention to the details. Someone is holding on. The, and then you need patience. So I feel like this is not over. I feel like this connection is not over between the two of you, but either you're holding on or they're holding on to someone else. Who is their loyalty to? That's the most important thing. And forgiveness means, again, having to kind of like say, okay, you know what? You need to go do your thing. I'll let you go. I'm not going to be angry at you, even though I want to be. But because um, approach with caution and pay attention to the details, it may mean that you'll get hurt in the process and I feel like you're on the right path. If you're going to cut this person off, you're on the right path. Okay. Um, let me ask the universe, what is loyalty? Do we need to know who the person is being loyal to? What can we know about loyalty? Page of Cups, the world. Oh, so they have, maybe they have no loyalty. Two of Cups is under here. There's the sun under here. There's the Ace of Wands. So there's a lot of like chemistry or passion here. There could be somebody else. We have the Three of Coins, but it's not the Three of Cups. So that's not the same energy to me, but still it's like you're irritated that there's always communication with someone else so yeah I'd be very cautious of this person because maybe they are not loyal maybe their loyalty does you know belongs to someone else or they're not loyal to anyone because they got all these cups everywhere I mean, they're giving cups to everyone they're a knight of wands so page of cups yeah it's like they give a cup and then it's over and then they're off to somebody new so if you've decided to cut the ties with this person, at least temporary for now, not to get your heart hurt, I think that's the best thing to do. But I don't feel like the story is over. I don't feel like this person is completely done with you or the situation. Maybe you are with them. Let me go to this. Let me go to this deck. What does Sagittarius need to know about this situation? Can you tell us what does Sagittarius need to know about this situation? Okay, ask for help from others. Let me do one more. and you're ready all right under the deck it does say peaceful resolution which can mean that this will work out in your favor ask for help from others obviously it can be other people as well as like guides you can ask for signs you're ready i don't know if you're ready to move on or let me see there's romantic feelings here this is a soulmate worth waiting for stay optimistic see I'm kind of feeling like this person may be running because of you know they maybe they're not ready for commitment uh, maybe they you know have a fear of commitment maybe this is making them feel very uncomfortable the way you're talking about love and romance and how the feelings are coming up and they don't want to talk about this kind of thing you want commitment you want this to be on this like you want to know where it's going right what, what path are we on? Are we your friends with benefits? Is this a relationship? Are we, you know, done? So you may be getting the answer very soon with this. You know, you may be seeing something, a sign, something maybe um, like you're ready to know the truth is kind of what I'm getting. But I definitely get, don't, like don't, like I, obviously you're doing the right thing by pulling back. 
So what I'm going to do is extend this one, Sagittarius. I'm going to see exactly um, how this person is feeling. And I'm, going to, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. So if they don't want commitment and if they want to mess around, it's going to show up in the extended. And I'll ask again, point blank, yes or no. Both Pisces and Scorpio, they gave us a specific answer. You know, you don't have to follow it, but it's just it's their guidance, how they feel, what make you the happiest. So we're going to see how this person truly feels overall, how they feel for you. In the future, if you guys get back together, have they changed? And then all I like to see is, will it last? Sometimes it doesn't last. So what's the point? Will there be change down the road? Um, any other advice comes up? I'm trying to think of anything else specific, but I'll, I'm gonna put the link below. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So the link will be below. Have a really good week, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon.